vlog of going to get my first ever Birkin bag from Hermes. So we were very excited to bring him today because it's just, you know, leaving him at home for a long amount of time. We didn't want to do that. I'm also testing out a new foundation today and we'll see how it goes. It might go really wrong. I was thinking maybe I shouldn't really do it, but oh well, I did it. It's the new, for me, Pro Filter Soft Matte Fenty Foundation. Uh, so I think it looks quite nice. Uh, it's very light, so really enjoyed putting it on and gives like a soft matte finish with a bit of sheen going on. Also, wearing Oster from Electimus today for my scent of the day. It's quite a powerful woody scent. I don't know what it is, but at the moment I've got my face for really just woody scents without much sweetness, so that is what I fancied. And my outfit is kind of all over the place because the moment when you want to really look nice and remember this moment for the rest of your life, like I, I just couldn't pick an outfit, everything feels wrong. So not very happy with that, but it's life. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> As small as I thought, you described it as really tiny in real life, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's uh, it's a good size. Yeah, I love it's it. Like, you know, I don't carry words stuff. Uh huh. Me, so Wonderful. Show them as well. Wonderful voice. Let's see, it comes with the pad lock as well. Oh, beautiful. That's really nice. That one's also got the plastic on it. So yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. That is wonderful. Oh. Mozzie, are you excited? I'm so happy I can be here with you in this moment. Oh, yeah. Mozzie's also here. He's very happy for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see, the corners are quite important as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got the owner's Paris popping out there. Oh, oh, nice. So, the nearest of these two are these two. I think seasonal. So, if I got, okay, it's better to get like, because I'm not really, it's every six months we change the size. What do you think about the two? Manchester is packed today. This place is a little bit quieter, but it's so many people. So, just came out of the store. Oh, it was so nice. I mean, every MS experience for me has been really nice. I don't know if people are saying that they have had a, like, they didn't have a nice experience, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy. But I think we're going out of here because it's too busy for us. We're usually, we're introverts, so we don't like crowded places. And today it's super busy. So we just came in. 
for you know what I don't want to say <laughs> because I'm like well, there's nobody oh, here paranoid I don't know you are yeah, paranoid I think it's because it's my first one I'm like Ooh, but I have to relax. So we wanted to go for some champagne to celebrate, but they don't allow dogs in. Selfridges, so what are you doing? Uh, so I think we're just a bit overwhelmed. So we're going to go back home and then go out with the bee and go <laughs> the home bee. and we'll go for some champagne uh, near us so that it's more you know calm and everything. <laughs> because here, like we don't know even where to go. So. It'll be just nicer to go and leave Moshi at home. There's even a manger here. Look how Christmassy. And a beautiful church. It's literally right across from Selfridges, which is in that road. So we're going to go back home and then catch you later. Show you the outfit styled with everything. Do a little unboxing. Funny? Do that, my prosecco. So we're on our way back home, and I just wanted to touch base with you because this was like chaotic, exciting, everything at once. I had to run because the appointment was at 1:15, quarter past, and the parking was full we couldn't park anywhere and in the message that they sent me for the bag they said like if you're going to be late we could have to go we're going to cancel your appointment like no no need to come in you need to be on time so i was super scared and my team was super super scared to miss it so i went running to selfridges and Mati parked so I was there a bit for, like for the unpacking, for the reveal, I was there by myself. I tried to film a little bit, which I did, but I didn't want to be too much because I was like, they haven't offered me the bag like physically yet, so I'm going to be careful here <laughs> because they could always like just say, actually, you know what, no, no, no. So that was really exciting when she showed me the bag. This was my first time ever touching a Birkin. Uh, I've only seen it but never like been able to touch it or like try it on or anything so this was super special uh, and I was so happy I was like dancing <laughs> I was like just doing little like mini dances and everybody was super friendly and they were like coming and looking at the bag as well all the essays so yeah it was such a nice experience I also got two twillies for the bag to protect it since it's quite a light color. Um, I, I will do a full unboxing in another video so it's probably up by the time this vlog is up so go on my channel and there you can find the whole story of how I got the bag. It's a very unusual story in my opinion so you should go and check it out if you're looking to buy a Birkin because um, I have tried going to Paris but that didn't work out for me at all and it's actually nicer to be able to comfortably go and collect the bag so I'm very happy it happened for me here in the UK in the Manchester store how, how did you feel in like did you feel happy for me absolutely or? I, was, I was so happy and the lady that was serving you was uh, very like polite and happy that that you could get the bag as well. Yeah. The experience was very nice, so mm -hmm. yeah. I was happy also because I'm I'm like a child in that sense that I'm super happy. Oh it's right now. When I get something like I wanted this bag, I know it's stupid and materialistic, but at the same time it's nice to be happy with like the things that you want in life and this is one of the things that I really wanted. It was my dream so it happened and I was so so happy and sometimes with essays or certain stores for example when I got my Chanel bag I felt like I couldn't really like celebrate and be myself because like it was just crowded and the essay like wasn't really interested like it just wasn't like an environment I felt a bit judged but here it was like I could be myself I could take my time um, I didn't feel like I was a problem and everything was super nice. I asked her about all the questions I had. So I'm very happy with my experience. Oh, can't wait to wear it. So 
so we just got back home eight and I filmed an unboxing and also <clears throat> oh, my throat just applying a new fragrance for the night my throat is like going but it's shooting star starlight by Zerov it's such a good scent I can't stop wearing it so light honey coriander just stunning change my top and I'm taking my bee out it's a very casual outfit like I'm tired but I still want to go out and celebrate we're going to go to get some maybe Prosecco champagne something just to take her out for the first time and I have no idea whether this should be in these little things or out I still need to google that google it I'm so green I can't believe it I can't believe it it's so 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 exciting so this is happening now